In recent years, there's been an accelerated use of digital innovations to improve the quality of perinatal care. Welcome to Advancing Health, a podcast from the American Hospital Association. I'm Tom Hederly, executive speechwriter with AHA. Technology has become a critical aspect of healthcare delivery. Digital solutions have provided avenues for improved access to OBGYNs, doulas, lactation consultants, specialists, and more. Apps for remote patient monitoring or chat and text-based navigation services offer additional ways to support and coordinate care. Joining Priya Bethesia, Vice President of AHA Strategic Initiatives, is Kelly Stevenson, Senior Manager at Inception Health. Inception Health is the digital innovation arm of the Freydert and the Medical College of Wisconsin Health Network. Stevenson will share how the Freydert and the Medical College of Wisconsin's use of Baby Scripts, a platform designed to better connect expectant mothers with their doctors and resources, has improved perinatal outcomes. This podcast is part of AHA's 7 and 7 series. Thank you, Tom. And Kelly, thank you for speaking with me today. At Freighter, you are using BabyScripts technology to improve perinatal care. Can you share a little bit more about that technology and how it works? Yeah, thank, thank you so much for having me. At Freighter in the Medical College of Wisconsin, we really believe it's important to support patients every day, not just at the visit itself. We know there are several things that happen between visits that make each patient journey uniquely their own. And this has led us to be really bullish on on the concept of the digital therapeutic to help with medical condition management across a continuum. So in 2018, we introduced Baby Scripts as our digital maternity solution. And this includes a digital education component, which is delivered via the Baby Scripts mobile app with daily gestational age and practice specific content that we can manage and customize. Then there is the Baby Scripts remote monitoring layer. So depending on risk, patients are provided with medical devices, such as blood pressure cuffs to monitor for elevated risk at home, providing insights back into the EMR for our care teams to monitor in real time. So you can see digital therapeutic tools like Baby Scripts allow us to engage and support patients between visits, not just when they come to us. Yeah, that, that's great. And I love how it's a combination of both education and monitoring. Can you share some of the outcomes and successes you've had using baby scripts? Yeah, yeah, sure. First, in, in terms of patient engagement, we see that about 75% of our patients invited to baby scripts choose to engage with the tool. And among those that do engage, they log seven to eight sessions in the tool per month. And while we, we don't really have a baseline for measuring engagement prior to baby scripts, our care teams have reported that patients really seem more engaged with this digital format as compared to that traditional binder of information that we used to hand out at that first OB appointment. And this means that providers can really focus more on the patient's priorities during visits rather than having to verbally dump a checklist of information on them. Also, you know, as we move away from this visit mindset, we use baby scripts to limit unnecessary risk of in-person visits. For those patients using blood pressure monitoring, we've seen that about 15% have recorded at least one elevated or critical blood, blood pressure at home that was triaged by our care teams, resulting in virtual interventions ranging from continued remote monitoring to prescriptions to necessary trips to the ED. But, you know, in all cases, it's given our care teams more data more quickly to provide informed clinical direction virtually rather than defaulting to a clinic visit. But I think our successes are probably best highlighted by our patients themselves. We had one patient report that, quote, I had preeclampsia with a prior pregnancy, and I just appreciate being able to monitor my blood pressure at home as needed. Overall, it's made me less anxious and has limited my need for in-person visits. Mm -hmm. And that support for patients between visits and that level of engagement is really what we're striving for through the use of, of digital therapeutics. 
That's great. And I'm so happy you shared a real example of um, a patient's experience with baby scripts. So we know that not everyone has access to a data plan or a cell phone or Wi-Fi or ways to engage in these digital solutions. How are you at Freighter ensuring digital health equity, both in terms of being able to access and understand baby scripts? Yeah, health equity is a really important issue that we have to break down. There are several areas where we are focusing, one being the gap in digital engagement by race. In, in a number of data sets, it's clear that digital engagement with patient portals for people of color is about half that of the white population. So with baby scrubs, we are implementing automatic invitations when a pregnancy is reported for every patient, every time. We are then following up with proactive outreach to those who don't act on the invitation. And this is all to ensure that we are equitable in our process to invite and engage patients, all of our patients. But, but beyond that, at Freighter, we are using digital therapeutics to improve accessibility for all of our patients, not just those who are more affluent or tech comfortable. So with baby scripts, we can provide free 24 seven access to our customized prenatal education for patients who are unable to attend prenatal classes due to time constraints or financial limitations. This includes more visuals and videos to ensure patients of all literacy levels are able to understand the information. We can also use baby scripts to send text messages to our patients to share important updates or to encourage ongoing engagement, which we know are more likely to be read as compared to patient portal messages or emails, for example. And finally, we believe that the right digital tools will play a really important role in engaging and empowering patients by reinforcing that connection between the individual and their own health data, like their blood pressures, which can also help to level that playing field. We know there's a lot of work to be done. I could talk forever about this, but Baby Scripts is just one tool that we're using to help narrow the gap. Well, Kelly, thank you so much for being here and sharing the great outcomes that your patients are experiencing after integrating Baby Scripts. And to our listeners, thank you for joining in today and stay tuned for upcoming podcasts in this 7 and 7 series. Thank you.